to determine the slope of a line, we're going to look at a set of stairs. And in a set of stairs, the piece going up is a rise because in order to walk on stairs, you must rise, your foot must lift, and then it must go over. So we're going to call this the run. So we have this measurement of rise, run, rise, run, rise, run. So slope is going to be found by determining the rise and the run. And it's going to give us a number that will quantify the steepness. Now I can find the steepness of stairs, but we're going to be looking at lines. So the line that I'll be finding the steepness of is a line that connects these stairs. So here would be my line in red, and I would find it by counting the rise and the run. So looking on this diagram, I'm rising, so my foot is lifting, it's going up, up would be a positive one, and it's running to the right, one unit as well. So the slope of this diagram has a slope of one. Looking at the next stairs, if I was again just to connect and look at the line, connecting the bottom of the stairs, you could visually see that the line is steeper. So to represent a steeper line, we're going to get a bigger, larger value. So finding the steepness, we want to find the rise and the run. So you just pick a point. How many did you rise? How many did you run? How many units did you rise? How many units did you run? On this di diagram, I rose two, I ran one. I rose two, and I ran one, both in the positive direction. So reducing this fraction, I get a two. Notice the two quantifies the line in terms of its steepness. It's larger than one. You can physically see that the line is steeper. And both lines are going up. So when the line goes up, it has a positive slope. Looking at the next set of stairs, again, picking a point. I would have to step down one and over two. So again, this is the run, this is the rise. We're not really rising, we're going down one and over to the right two. Over to the right is a positive direction. So if you are going up, it's positive. Down is negative. If you are moving to the right, that's positive. If you're moving to the left, that would be negative. So again, I'm moving down one and over two. So looking at the line formed by these stairs, so it's just the ramp. The ramp is negative because if I was traveling on this ramp, moving always from left to right, I would be going downhill. So you can think of these kind of as a hill or a trail on the first stair step or ramp, I would be heading uphill. On the second one, I would also be heading uphill. But if you notice, it's much steeper, larger number. The last graph isn't as steep as either of the two, and it's headed in the downward direction, so it has a negative slope. And we have another name for these stairs just besides rise and run. So if I go ahead and enlarge just one of these steps. You can see it here. If I enlarge one of these steps, we're going to call these a particular name. Instead of always using rise and run, we're going to call this run that would be right here. We're going to call this run right here the horizontal change. That's the horizontal direction. So we're going to call it the horizontal change. Moving downward, we're going to call this section the vertical change. So it's called the vertical change and the horizontal change. So back in our definition on slope, not only are we going to call it the steepness, rise over run, we're going to get a little bit more formal and call it, it is going to be the rise or the vertical change divided by the horizontal change.